to chill out, my name is Jacksepticeye, and welcome to Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. This is a bit of a weird game, because I saw a trailer for this ages and ages ago, and I thought it looked really cool. The, the facial capture, the graphics, the visuals, everything looked phenomenal. And it's made by Ninja Theory, who made Heavenly Sword, which I really, really liked, and it also made Enslaved Odyssey to the West. I didn't like that as much. They also made the newest Devil May Cry game, which is very controversial, a lot of people didn't like that game. I personally liked it. I actually have videos of it up on the channel, believe it or not. I, I tried to do a Let's Play of that ages ago as well. So, I like the developers, and I like the idea behind this game, because it plays into a mental state that this main character is going through, like, voices in their head. But the reason it's really cool, to me at least, is because they recorded the voices binaurally. And if you don't know what binaural audio is, usually it's recorded with like two microphones either side of a dummy's head to make it, to give the representation of ears. So if you've ever seen any of those demos where there's like a, a hairdresser's cutting your hair with a buzzer or a scissors and you can hear the sound go around your head, that's what it's like. So the voices will come from like everywhere. It's not, it doesn't just feel like it's coming from left and right. It actually has spatial design to it as well. And it feels like it's coming in front of you, behind you, slightly, this side of you, like way behind you, different things like that. So it's very, very convincing. So if you want to listen to this video properly, you're going to have to get on a good set of headphones. A, a set of headphones will do, but really good headphones, these are phenomenal headphones, will really sell that because it has a sense of space to it. Not just left and right, it has like front, back, left, right, up, down, all these different types of things, which to me is fascinating because I love audio in general. It's what I studied for a long time, and I love binaural audio in particular because it sells a very different type of soundscape. It sells like surround sound better than anything else could. From just two drivers in your headphones to be able to get that sense of depth is really cool. It actually feels like there's people in the room with you, which not a lot of games do, and I really wish more horror games would kind of do that, but for setting up sound effects, it's a little harder to do because you have to record all the Foley sounds differently and you can't just position them and games normally have like 3D cameras that you can move around so it makes it a bit harder to do that. But I like developers that try, so... I don't know what it's going to be like, I don't really know much about the game. Other than that, I know it's based on like Celtic and Norse mythology and the characters going through a declining mental state so that's why that plays in. I don't know, I I'm curious. The, the game just caught my attention so I really wanted to try it out. Hello. Hi. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Oh! Welcome. Oh no, she's over here! You're safe with me. No, she's like right here. Fuck, that's weird. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Oh, Jesus. Let me tell you about Senua. Oh, she's over here. Now her story has already come to an end, but now... That's awesome. What's happening? It's breathing. Dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. Ooh. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. She's getting closer. This is a journey. That's deep so deep bizarre. There will be no more stories after this. One. The voices are everywhere. I want you to rescue him. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old. Some are new, but they've changed. That's so awesome. I think the darkness changed them. Just like it changed her. Oh, it's like right in my ear! It's, it gives you that like chill down your spine. Why isn't she looking? <laughs> Why aren't you looking? He's in Helheim. Look. He's in Helheim? Do you see it too? You promised you can. Yes. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. The Northmen call hell. That's cool looking. Turn back, come back, come back, come back. It's not safe. 
Can you hear that? Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Oh, that was a male voice. Translate to a YouTube video though, which sucks. <laughs> oh man, I would love to play this in surround sound. Like proper surround sound. Can you feel them watching? They're watching her. It's a very pretty game as well, damn. I can. You're fucking right in my ear. Why? How couldn't I feel it? it makes me feel like I've, like my head is being condensed. What is she thinking? I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself. Growing stronger, towering over her. He might try and ignore it, turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight, where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. Okay. She sounds like Galadriel from Lord of the Rings. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Then it was fear runs far. Oh god, you're right inside my head! And it's weird, because I'm kind of OCD about things, so if, if I hear a sound too much in my left ear, my right ear starts to feel like neglected or feels weird, so I kind of need the sound to come out through here to make it feel like my head is balanced again. Okay, we're getting off. Can I play now? That's fucking awesome. I like that. That's a really neat idea. So she went through some trauma with somebody, and now she's hearing voices in her head since then. What is she looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. Oh, weird. You can't do it. If anyone pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering, there's nothing to go back to and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you two have a part to play in this story. Okay, now I'm playing. I'm curious to know who's, like, what voices are talking. Some of them are just voices in her head, it seems. Okay, I'm playing. So this game also has combat in it. Kind of Dark Souls-y, but a bit slower than Use that. Your Use your eyes. Come on, Oh she my can't focus. god, the Why voices are all around me! Take a closer look, Samuel. And... It's cool as well because, as you saw in the credits at the start, it said a mental health advisor. So I think this is playing into the, like, anxiety and weirdness and just, like, doubt and everything. Like, the voices that actually go on inside your head. 
and how to a degree it can like really overwhelm someone and it's it's not that strange to have voices in your head is this a save? I don't know what that means I couldn't do anything to it can I run? oh I can run it's a very pretty game Oh, I can hear the wind all around me. That's awesome. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Stop. Shut up. Can I have this? I don't want to stop. So is this stuff actually happening or is it in her head? Not this time. Whoa. Oh, that's awesome. The land of mist and fog. The old fool was right. What was it he said? The river of knives across which lies the halls of hell. The place they call Hellheim. in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Hey, Hela's in the new Thor movie. Her dear beloved. Dillian. I'm coming, Dillian! God, that's gorgeous. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? Why doesn't she turn back? I fucking want to turn back! Shut up, voices in my head! He's already dead. Really, feet prints? Do game of the year. Oh wait, those aren't my footprints. I thought I was leaving feety prints. It's the first thing I always check with games like this if I'm leaving footprints. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. He's already dead. She can save him. There's nothing she can do. She thinks she's going to save him. Shut up! She'll never make it to hell. <laughs> Man, that really does get in your head. Do you know where you're to Hellheim? I forget its name. God, this game is pretty too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? Um, yeah, also there's gonna be a lot of talking like that, so I might not be able to commentate over it as much. Which is fine, that's the way it should be. But just in case some people think I'm being too quiet or talking over it at times and they think it shouldn't be. It's just a hard game to try and balance out. I assume those are just save points or checkpoints. I'm climbing up there. I'm doing it. Shut up, Mom. I really like the fog. I like fog. It's a cool looking effect. You don't know where you're going. Yes, I do. Shut up, stupid voices. Don't tell me what I can't do. No, this is it. The hidden path. She reminds me of Aloy from Horizon. Whoa. 
Do I gotta fight a demon? Don't kill me. I'm not one of them. Don't listen. I was just hiding. Hiding? I find I live longer that way. Don't listen. I'll never let the bastards catch me again. Never! Wait. Who are you? It's just a memory. Drew? Is that you? My tales of the Northmen. They call me Druth. A liar. He's lost. An old fool. <laughs> truth is my truth. <laughs> truth is my truth. It's good to see you again. You kept your vow. I guide you in this life and the next. I will tell you my stories of hell. If I may walk with you. <laughs> sure. Tell me your stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye. And you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. Use your eyes. Okay. She needs to look closer. Okay. Do I actually need to get closer? I can see like an outline. Am I supposed to match it up? Or look somewhere else? Oh god, they're everywhere. It's near. Oh! Whoa! Okay! Look towards the gate. And the gate will be... That's cool! I thought that was just a shadow. Oh, would you look at that? It's all blue now. Thanks, Truth! The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. The fucking hell! Get out of my head! What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe. It worked! Of course it worked. Our boy Druth would not lie to us. I spent six years enslaved in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listened. When everyone else laughed. My people paid the heavy price. Carry oh, my Jesus. stories with you. And together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Our fury. Aye, we will, Truth. Make them feel our fury. Another voice joins us. She wants to try to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. But what good is that? That's fucking awesome. Was we are always here. Shut up! I guess it's the same with heights. You can stand on the edge. Pretend it's going to be okay. <laughs> you know that death is near. Okay, Wait I can actually wobble off this. Up. I don't want to wobble off this. Little slip. Keep it straight. Keep it safe now. I just wish things away. Shut up. I wish you would fucking stop. Hey, it's my M. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side, and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the old father cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed. And with her, you must bargain. Wait, Hela is the daughter of Loki? Is that how it's going to be in the movie? That's curious. I didn't know that. The gate to Helheim divides the living from the dead. Is 
at the face of Hela herself. The half-rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. I don't think I'm gonna be able to push this Shh. open, guys. Someone's here. Give me a bad guy to fight. I have a sword. Let me use it. I want to stab someone. I'm strong. I can face the darkness. Okay, time to fight. I don't know how to fight. There we fucking go. Hey, it turns out I do know how to fight because I'm awesome and I've played video games before. Ha ha ha! Now it's his eye! Who will fuck you up, sir? Not today! Okay, there's another one. Okay, I have heavy attacks, light attacks, dodge, and uh, kick a roof. Kick him! Ow! Fuck! Kick him! Fuck him! Oh! No! Huh. Not today, sonny boy! Get him! Get him! Yeah! Uh oh, there's, uh, there's more of them. These ones are just shadows, though! I can't hit him! He's just a shadow! Am I supposed to die? I think I'm supposed to die! I can't! Ow! Man, this game is fucking relentless. Did you die? Oh god, her face turned all rotten. A vision. Of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rot. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head. The seed of the soul. Until there is nothing left of her. <laughs> All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. Fuck, dude! This game doesn't pull any punches! <laughs> the, the facial capture is really convincing. That's impressive. The dark rot will grow each time you fail. Oh, I heard about this! 
If the rot reaches Senua's head, her quest is over. Apparently if you die too much, the game deletes your save file. And all progress will be lost. So if you die too many times, you have to restart the whole game. I don't know how true that is. But if you're not intent on dying long enough to find out. So each time I die, the rot will spread up my hand the like grayscale. The battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. Are you carrying around your boyfriend's severed head? That's a little weird, even for a game like this. Ah, I died. Does that mean I can go through Helheim? Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire, Surt, and the god of illusion, Van Raven. Spill their blood oh. to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. Hell yeah, I will. Um, illusion or uh, the other one? What was it? Cert? Why can't she? She needs to challenge the gods. She has to fight two gods first. Two gods, two, two gates. gates. I'm choosing the yellow one because you said him first. <laughs> She's going to die. Uh oh. Which one uh -oh. will she challenge first? <laughs> Sword. The fire giant has answered. He comes from a land older than mankind. And the Northmen call upon his flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground. Find him, Senua. Aye, I will. I'll find him and I'll stab him in the heart with my sword. God, I love Norse mythology. It's really cool. Back from the wilds. An outcast. Was badly burnt all over. Was it that way? She took pity on him, for he was not long for this world. Like her, who spoke of his own darkness. The Northmen. Okay. The visuals are very, very impressive. But yeah, I love Norse mythology and the gods and like flaming swords, all that kind of shit. It's very games of, Game of Thronesy. A lot of Game of Thrones stuff kind of comes from that sort of vibe and feel. A lot of Tolkien stuff too, because it's he was British, so the North and Scandinavia and Norse and all that kind of stuff was not far from home. Just cool. I like Greek uh, mythology as well. Because I love the God of War games and I love like Zeus and Poseidon and all those guys. I love the lore behind that. But Norse stuff. Norse stuff feels a bit. Uh, I was gonna say it feels a bit more grounded, but I guess it doesn't. You still have gods of thunder and lightning and all that kind of shit, so. Did we actually get to fight a giant fire? Demon. Can I fight a Balrog? Okay. More signs. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Cock came out of nowhere! Fuck you! Did you just say traitors? Uh oh. Uh oh. Fuck you! I did it! I ended it! Come on, buddy boy. What do you want? Too fast. He's not too fast. Me and Senua are gonna kick some ass. What's up, goat face? Let's go back to Bloodborne. Nice. God, they just fucking never end, do they? I like her sword. It's a cool design. I dodged. This guy! No, no, no! Oh, come on! Don't let them 
around you. Am I supposed to do something else for this? I'm hurting. Oh god, I missed. Okay, now I'm afraid. Uh, I broke his car. Attack him. Get in there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! Don't kill me! Does he have a fire sword? That's unfair! Thank God. So is that the same guy over and over again, or is it just one guy? Or just- or multiple guys, I meant to say. I said, just said the same thing twice. I can still smell it. Okay. An so N and a Y. Burning human flesh. <laughs> is this gonna be the same thing can as before? I still hear their cries carried in the wind. I think I'm going the right way. I think this yes. is a hint that I'm going the right way. I heard this, Chris, and I still hear them now. You can hear the noise. I can fucking hear a lot of things. I can just hear you guys. Can you shut up? Okay, I think I'm looking for the N first, because only the N is on screen. Ah, I see. Is that it? It kind of looks like it's it. There it is. And the thing is in the background. That's awesome. Okay, now I have to find the Y. Well, I know it's not a Y. It just kind of looks like a Y. Is that's not here as well, is it? Oh wait, there's stuff over there. No, but I'm trying to see if I'm supposed to stay up here and find it or if I'm supposed to go closer down here. Okay. Can't you just be it? Oh, wait. There's another branch here. There we go. Okay, not too difficult, but still. But you already walk amongst the dead. Look towards the gate, and you will see that it has opened. Yeah, I know. I'm looking. Here we go. Thank you. Lots of fighting, lots of looking, lots of puzzle solving, using my brain. Well, this is a lovely place. Enough of their tongue to beg for mercy, and they took me as a slave. I wish now that they had slaughtered me like the others. Don't say I that, Drew. Storm of fire, death, slavery to many lands. This darkness you speak of, <laughs> I know it well, and I'm still here to fight it. Yeah, the lighting is really nice. Oh, Jesus Christ! Already?! Fuck you! Okay. Maybe not. Maybe not. Fuck you! Son of a bitch! Finish this! End it now! Finish him! I'm pressing A to dodge. Oh, yeah! I'm gonna force you into a corner! I'm not gonna- oh god. I didn't realize there was two of them. Screw you, screw you, screw you. Ow, ow. Okay, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. This guy's weak. Maybe I can finish him off? No? Okay, your friend wants to join in. He's weak, he's weak. Gang up on him. I just messed that guy up. I'm trying if you'd stop talking to my ears. Okay, I got this. I got this. Come on, fellers. What you got? Yeah, I got him. Got him. Got him. Get him. 
I tried! I pressed A to dodge, but it's kind of slow sometimes. Getting him, getting him, getting it done. Huh. Oh! We did it, Senua! Beasts! Can I just burn this? When you see a fire gate of Surt, know that only a sacrifice will stoke the fires of Muspa and let the dead walk through. Find the fire, Senua, to follow the path to Surt. Okay, isn't that fire right there? That's a fire up there, too! These guys got sacrificed, and this is fire. Just let me use that fire. Okay, I'm going this way. Ah, uh, here's a fire. What are you telling me to focus? Oh. Generated character model. Cert is waiting How for me, is he? Are they? Find another way. Truth, Cert. Find your own path. There's always another way. There's always a way. Find your own way. You just ah, have to find I see it. How it is. I thought I could just go that way and be good. Can you guys stop talking to me? Here's... Stop doubting me. I can do it, guys. The Northmen tell this story. Before the Earth was created, there was a world called Muspel. Because it was in the south, it was bright and hot, flaming, burning. Sparks that flew out from Muspel became the stars. Other sparks melted ice in the frozen world of Niflheim, creating the body of the first giant, Ymir. Muspel is one of the nine worlds, and is now the land of the fire giants. Oh, God, I didn't know you were going to stop talking. Sorry. Niflheim, that's in The Witcher, isn't it? Uh-oh. It's too far. She'll never find it. She'll never make her way back. She needs to remember the way back. What happens when she finds it? Everything will burn. I know how to find my way back. Oh god, it's actually like planting doubt in my head that I'm gonna get lost. That's cool. What's this one say? So these aren't save points. I was supposed to stare at these and get info. The Northmen say that the defender of Muspel is called Cert. The foremost of the fire giants. His name means the Black One, because he is like something burnt. The Northmen believe that he sits at the border of Muspel with his flaming sword, and at the end of the world he will leave his post. He will travel to Asgard and Midgard, waging war against all the gods. He will be victorious, and then burn the whole world with fire. That's pretty badass, not gonna lie. There's torches and shit everywhere. I know the fire is over here. The Northmen there it is. made fire sacrifices, burning slaves like me to reveal the path to Surt. I searched for meaning in their suffering, in their eyes, but they just screamed like. Helpless pigs. All right, 
Reveal the door to me. Careful of hallucinations. Don't do shrooms. Stay in school, kids. Don't do drugs. Because that happens. Do I have to go back the same way, or is there a shorter way to get there now? Hey, just go over this. Oh, God, Jesus. Oh, that's fucking scary. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm sorry to bring you guys back into the world burning. Ow! There, it's open, it's open. Just go, just go. Do your gods answer your prayers, Senua? I asked the gods for mercy, all of them, even theirs. None answered. In the end, I set myself free. Defy the gods, Senua! Find your own path, like I find mine! Okay, so that's My actually just an actor. I am alone. Okay, well I'm gonna leave this first episode of Senua's beautiful adventure through fire and flames here. That's a cool image with her standing in the middle of the door. Really cool game so far. I like the imagery. I like the, as I said, the sound going all the way around your head and the way it kind of plants doubt in you, saying that you can't do things as you're doing them. It's very powerful. The visuals are very nice. Music is very cool. I like the setup of it. I just like, as I said before, the Norse mythology. Norse and Celtic mythologies kind of cross over a bit sometimes. Um, really, really cool. Let me know what you guys think, but for now, thank you guys. So much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face! Like a boss! And... I hope he's on road. Whoosh! Whoosh! But thank you guys, and we'll see all you dudes! Man, I want to try and find out a way of doing binaural audio and recording a video like that. It's so cool.